What's up, guys? It's your girl, Emily Curl, here at iHeart, and we are hanging out with Jadakus today. Jadakus, how's it going? How you doing today, Emily? I'm good. I'm glad to have you here. God, thanks for having me. I'm glad to be happy to be here. Well, good. We have a lot to talk about, but you've got some new music out that I want to dive into. And the first thing I want to discuss is Kisses to the Sky. What was the process like bringing the song and the video to life? Well, for one, um, I tried to make every song have a double meaning. Mm. And um, although you hear it, it sounds like I'm talking to a female and just spitting bars on the content of Kisses to the Sky. Um, is also talking to my my dead my dead partner, my homie that deceased that, you know, mm -hmm. actually talking to Ignatius. That's who the album is named after. And it's like a send off, you know, after the burial and after the repast when the whole family and friends go outside and let white balloons mm -hmm. go to the sky. It's like that's also the meaning of Wow. And kisses to the sky. Yeah. yeah, so this new album is out and it's obviously has a deeply personal meaning to you. What was it like releasing this project into the world? Uh, releasing the project was sort of like a breath of fresh air, like sort of like a closure from uh, just even, even though I'm always thinking about him, just the whole mm -hmm. process of him not being here, him is actually the first well, the second project that I've done, but the first of my own projects that I've done without him being there. So, you know, just a sense of putting it on the shelf like an urn and, you know, getting the ball rolling back to my regular everyday mm -hmm. program. Definitely. How do you think these new songs, this new music differs from songs you've created in the past? They differ because they're a little more personal. Mm -hmm. They're a little more you know, I never done an album in someone's name, mm -hmm. named after somebody. You know, that's a good thing that you know I haven't lost that many people. Right. Yeah, it, it, it was a different process, and it, it was a. It's also like I said, <clears throat> excuse me, a, a form of closure. Right. For me to get on, and although he'll still be with us spiritually, he, I just don't have to keep using that. You know, I lost my homie. I lost my. You know. Mm -hmm. just, He's a part of the entourage from heaven. Oh, entourage from heaven. And you were able to pour that into that project. That's really special. And so we've seen some collaborations with some incredible artists in the past. Walk me through the collaborations on this album. Well, actually, all of the collaborations, well, 90-something percent, well, all people that, you know, my man always asked me to work with. So it's mm -hmm. like this whole album is based on, is named after him, is based on some production he left and even down to the features where every day he would ask me, yo, when you gonna do a song with Pusha? When you gonna do a song with 2 Chainz? When you gonna do a song with John Legend? When you gonna do a song with Todd Dolla Sign? So all of them little things he always would, you know, be in my ear about in the studio, I just try to do that in his name and, you know what I mean, to the best of my ability. Even down to the cover art is an actual painting that we're gonna put in a um in an art show and give some of the proceeds to his children. So just trying to keep it all about him, you know what I mean, one hundred percent and and rock it out and then, you know, when I finish when I finish with it I can sit it on the shelf and keep it going. Oh, something so proud of. That's really cool. It's such a 360 view to think of the album and to think of him and to work with all these people. So much thought obviously went into that. Yes. When you think about him and the legacy that he leaves behind, what's like the one thing that really sticks out to you that you're going to maintain in your life? Just his ability to remain calm and have his poise in, in some serious, sticky situations and dark times. Like, you know, he always was that, brought that energy, like, we're going to get through it. We, we, this is what we got to do. Don't worry about it. It's going to be all right. And, you know what I mean? Even though sometimes you're like, I don't know how we going, I don't know what we're going to do. He would always be positive and have poise and bring good energy and somehow we get through it. So, you know, just not to get too crazy and when the situation gets crazy. Right. That's a good one to To the best by. of my ability. You know? <laughs> Because it only could be one him. He's only right. He was a one of a kind. So, but know. how cool that he impacted you so much, and now you're sharing his legacy through your music. That's going to impact so many other people. 
definitely is what what is set out to do. And that's what I'm trying to accomplish with this body of work. It's awesome. So the album is out. What else can we expect from you in 2020? I have an animated movie coming out where what? I got the lead role. My character name is Captain Lightyear. Okay. So, um, yeah, it was, you know, I'm trying to make that transition to doing some voiceover work and um, setting off my record label, so Raspy Records, um, and making some more music, releasing some new locks projects with my partner, Style Sheep. Awesome. Styles P and Sheik Luch. Um, we got a documentary coming out about the locks, my group, and a bunch really? of things that the world never seen. Wow, know, when and is that coming out? Whenever the album comes out, I think it should be out. Should be out in March. Oh, great. Um, so end soon. of March, yeah, very soon. Um, and we're just working, just working, just creating, making more music, more juice bars. Shout out to Juices for Life. We got four juice bars. One in Brooklyn, two in the Bronx, yes. one in Yonkers. Um, and with my partner Ignatius passing from colon <clears throat> cancer, it all ties mm. itself together because we're trying to promote health awareness, you know, right. one person at a time. Encourage you to put fruits and vegetables and life into your body instead of, you know, dead things. And um, mm. just prevent some of the illnesses and cancers and diabetes and things that so many of our grandparents and aunts and uncles and even mothers and fathers have. So that's what we're trying to do with that. That's, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. And so you have four locations now? And yeah, you're gonna four, expand those even more? We're definitely gonna expand. We're looking to open more up and down the East Coast, eventually Midwest and out West and hopefully franchise shortly after that. That's so great. We're excited for all these projects, excited to follow you along on the journey. Can't wait for everything coming out in 2020. Jadikus, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you stream all his music on the iHeartRadio app, and we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here. And don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. Bye guys.